it's Amy from Jimmy Beans Wool, and today we are here to learn how to do the pinhole cast on. Um, we've got the rocket squared needle here. So if you're a member of our Needles and Notions Club, this is the needle that you got um, for this installment, and you can see these very pretty square needles here. But the cast on that we're learning actually does not use this needle, so I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. So the pinhole cast on is a great method for um, any kind of piece of knitting that starts from the center out. So maybe a counterpane square, you could even use it for a pair of socks or a hat or a pie shawl, that kind of thing. Um, and it's a way to start so that you don't have a hole in the center of your knitting. And if you've ever done the crochet magic ring or adjustable ring start in crochet, this is very similar. So um, first we're going to start with our yarn and what I want to do is make a ring just like that. I'll do it one more time here. So just take it, kind of like to hold my two fingers out, wrap around the front, and then bring it back over again one more time so that on top of my fingers you can see I have a double layer. And I'm going to kind of pinch that to keep it from coming unwound. Next, I'm going to take my crochet hook, and basically I'm going to be putting live loops onto the crochet hook to form the first stitches. So first, um, I'm going to reach through the ring and grab my working yarn. This is the end of yarn coming from the ball. So I'm going to grab a loop of that with my crochet hook and bring it up top there and I'm going to chain one, so I'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop on my hook. That's our first stitch. Um, I'm going to be starting with eight stitches total here. So I'm going to do this uh, seven times. I'm going to reach through, pull a loop up, then I'm going to yarn over and pull through only the first loop on the hook there. So that is two stitches so far. I'm going to do that six more times. Now your pattern might call for six stitches to start or some other number, but eight is a pretty common number. You can, to a reasonable extent, you can do it with any number of stitches. You'll see that I'm always going around that sort of doubled up part at the top there, and that's important. And I'm going to show you why in just a minute. There is number eight. So you can see that I've got eight live loops on my hook here. Now I'm going to take uh, this tail here and I'm going to pull it. And you can see why it's called a magic ring in crochet because it kind of magically just tightens up there. And also why it's going to be called the pinhole beginning in knitting because you can see that's just as big as a pinhole. It's almost entirely closed, which is nice. Uh, next, I'm going to transfer these live stitches onto my Addy Flexi Flips here. Double points would also work just fine if that's how you're starting out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and if I was using double points, since I have eight stitches, I would put two on each one. But because I have Flexi Flips, I'm going to put four on each one. It's usually a good idea to use roughly the same size of crochet hook as the knitting needles that you're using, so the tension is pretty similar. You can even go down one size in crochet hook. So there is the very beginning of my pinhole cast on, and from here I would just continue as my pattern instructs me, whether it's an increased round or a plain round. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing because we have a lot more yarn reviews, tutorials, and other fiber fun like that. Happy crafting!